Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Mad Max Fury Road and this movie is directed by George Miller and it came out in 2015 and this time it stars Tom Hardy instead of Mel Gibson and Charlize Theron. I saw everything but the first 30 minutes of this movie once before and the story for that is it was like something I was watching on my birthday while it was on TV and I was like, oh, this is like actually really cool and awesome. And I kind of love it. <laughs> and I've been meaning to check out the rest of it. And I just never got a chance until now. And I watched it and I really loved this movie. I thought it was awesome. And it's one of those few cases where I can actually agree with everyone and say, this is a really fantastic movie, really great action sequences. And they go on for a long time, and they're very impressive to watch. And it has all of the elements that the previous movies had in this movie as well. And it has, like, sped-up footage, and sometimes it has slow motion. And it all works and looks cool, and it feels like it's a part of a style. And I feel as though it's complementary to the film. And really great practical effects, explosions, and... Great performances also. Tom Hardy was really great in this movie. And I liked uh, the voice that he brought for Max. It was like very deep and <laughs> very entertaining. And he doesn't have a, a whole lot of lines of dialogue. I feel that, like uh, that's okay because not a lot of dialogue is needed. And the movie just works. It, very fast paced and everything looks real for the most part. There are some points where you can tell when... They're using CG, but it feels like it's used when it's necessary to use it. The actors aren't in actual danger because, like, there's new safety rules for films in 2015 than there were in, like, the 80s. Like, that's uh, what I was thinking while watching certain things in this movie. It was mostly just towards the end, but that is uh, something that I was thinking about uh, while watching it, and... I like the music for this movie a lot, and I feel as though it's complementary to the film itself and is memorable and really awesome. <laughs> and I kept forgetting to mention this in the previous Mad Max movies, but I really love the vehicle designs in these movies. Like in this movie in particular, like very interesting with what they do, and I feel as though it adds to the world, to this franchise, and... It's fine. And these movies, generally speaking, are very well shot. And you can tell what's going on very clearly. And there's blood. There's violence. It's not It's not done in a way that's, like, super disturbing. It's more like a fun, campy violence. And I like it. And I also kind of like the gag of Mad Max having to complain about his car being stolen. I know it was only, like... A couple times but it was still funny and another thing is that uh, this movie uh, does make uh, water i feel like it's very important in this uh, universe and that was something that i didn't really get too much of feel of a feel in the previous mad max movies except for the third one is that water is very important and throughout this entire movie i was like i feel thirsty i need to drink water <laughs> and you do feel it you do feel like it's a very sweaty environment and to talk about issues i only have a couple like i said some noticeable cg being used and also there's like some plot holes like why did you not just shoot the one character instead of just consistently pointing a gun at him like why'd you do that instead of just shooting them or like throughout this entire trip they have lots of water but i kept thinking like do you have food i never see any of you eating food <laughs> or like do, do you just not require food in this universe <laughs> like that that was kind of weird for me and also there were some uh, sound design issues that i had uh, with the movie not a lot just a couple but uh, there was a point uh, Actually, in a couple different scenes where the action is like taking like a break from the movie and it's just characters talking and they're driving a semi truck and I'm just thinking like these characters are basically whispering. I get it because the people in the back seat are like 
sleeping or getting some rest. My issue is that they're whispering, but you wouldn't really hear them, would you? If you're just whispering because semi-trucks are loud, are they not? I can't hear the engine like I did in the other scenes. <laughs> like, it, you can barely hear the engine. Like, you can still hear it, but barely. Like, that doesn't make sense. But in the end, Mad Max Fury Road, I thought it was really great. I didn't have uh, many issues with it. I liked the villain of the movie. And they establish uh, his character pretty early on in the movie. And the movie uh, wastes absolutely no time. And that's something that I really appreciate with these Mad Max sequels. Is that no time is wasted for the most part. And... They just get right into what you want, and out of everything that I would want from this franchise, it's just in this fourth movie, and it's awesome, and I love it. So definitely check this movie out if you haven't already. It does work as a standalone film. Like, there isn't really much that you need to know going into this movie that you missed within the previous Mad Max movies, because they are basically different stories, and... They're not really required for you to see them to enjoy this movie. It works perfectly well as a standalone film. And so check this movie out whenever you get the chance. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Mad Max Fury Road a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of Mad Max Fury Road and my social media links. It will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for The Lobster. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.